Whoopi Goldberg goes off on Meghan McCain again by Carmen Sabia Entertainment Politics for MadWorldNews.com. An unhinged Whoopi Goldberg came out firing at Meghan McCain and anyone in her path over the retiring of Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. It was quite the spectacle to see. On Wednesday, CNN's Jeffrey Tubin and others warned that the landmark decision that made abortion a legal right, Roe v. Wade, was doomed. Now that a more conservative justice would be appointed to the Supreme Court by President Donald Trump, the news sent Goldberg and Fellow, the View co-host Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, and Sarah Haynes into a panic on Thursday. Behar noted that Justice Anthony Kennedy's departure meant that conservatives would now hold the power in the three branches of government. It is an accurate statement. But it shows two things. One, that she did not realize they held the three branches since President Trump was elected. And two, that Kennedy, who is a conservative, sided with liberals enough that the uh, Supreme Court was not a solid conservative body. So let's take a listen. Instead of me reading what she say, they're saying here, let's take a listen. They're having a meltdown. We're reeling from the announcement, of course, that Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy is retiring, and you know who told supporters his plan for the future and gave them a warning about Democrats at a rally in Fargo last night. Take a look. Remember this. So we have a pick to come up. We have to pick a great one. We have to pick one that's going to be there for 40 years, 45 years. Democrats want judges who will rewrite the Constitution any way they want to do it and take away your Second Amendment, erase your borders, throw open the jailhouse doors, and destroy your freedoms. We must elect more Republicans. We have to do that. Let's have everybody a Republican. The Supreme Court, the Congress, the presidency. What is that called? Dictatorship, I believe. Well, that was called fear mongering. Thomas Jefferson and James Madison are rolling over in their grave today. What happened to separation of powers? What happened to checks and balances in this country? Gone. Gone. Yeah. Well, Democrats were in power for a long time, especially under Obama. You had three branches of government at the time. It's just the pendulum swinging the other way. And I think one thing, because I knew last night I was texting my sister-in-law, and I was like, tomorrow's going to be a rough day on the show, because I was thrilled with this news. I'm happy that we're going to get another Supreme Court nominee, especially as a pro-life, pro-gun, strict constitutionalist Republican. And I will say that judges don't always turn out how you think. You're not even looking at me, Joy. I was trying to, trying to ease your fears a little bit. Kennedy, in particular, was a swing voter. Mm -hmm. Gay marriage passed because of him. He was nominated under Reagan. We're a long time coming before this actually go legally passes. And I will say that I know it's easy sometimes to watch Trump and think that the world is coming to an end, but elections have consequences. And last night, Amber Tamblyn was tweeting about all the Democrats uh, like Susan Sarandon, who thought that they couldn't possibly vote for Hillary Clinton because it, I think her direct quote was the revolution would come. I'm curious How do you feel too. now? How do people feel people. now? How did the you know what? It, 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 actually, yeah. here's, here's the piss off for me. Yeah. You know, I'm the person that does believe that just because it, uh, someone is appointed doesn't mean, and I believe I've said that uh, mm -hmm. a lot about the Supreme Court that you never know yeah. how a person on the Supreme Court is going to vote because sometimes, you know, things change, they wake up, they see things. I don't like hearing again that I'm trying to take your rights away. Because I have to tell you, as a woman, I think you're trying to take my rights That's away. Right. Okay? You don't care. I mean, and as a person who believes in the Constitution, which tells me that I have the right to be myself and do the things I want to do, and I don't have to listen to what your religion is, and I don't have to listen to what you want it to be. I have to make sure that as an American citizen, I'm doing the right stuff and taking care of business. I don't like this line that, and, and that I, as a Democrat or an independent or whatever, is trying to take away anything from you. I'm trying to hold on to my personal rights so that you can have the rights you want. See, because if you take mine, I feel like you, you, you're the one with the problem. 
If you take my right away from me to judge what I do for my family and my body, I got a little problem with that. You got a problem. You don't, you don't want people to take your guns. Well, get out of my behind. Get out of my vagina. <laughs> It's a, it's a give and take. And it's Kennedy, a give and take. Kennedy has been the swing vote, yes. certainly, but let's be real. I mean, he was always a conservative justice. He yeah. was appointed by Reagan. Neil Gorsuch, who is very conservative, was his law clerk. And so for me, I wasn't surprised that he would want to retire during a Republican administration. Yeah. Um, I think he was very comfortable that Trump had nominated and appointed um, Neil Somebody Gorsuch, someone that he right. was comfortable with. And I think that gave him some solace. But I will say that since many of these decisions lately have been 5-4, mm -hmm. um, they've been very, very close. Now we are going to see um, a different agenda coming out of the Supreme Court. And my friend Jeff Tubin was saying on, on CNN yesterday that Roe v. Wade is doomed. That's right. Yeah. Now, for me, in many states, and, in many states there everywhere. are going to be challenges, right. that there are going to be a lot of anti-abortion laws mm -hmm. that are going to be passed, and those laws will take effect immediately until mm -hmm. they are challenged at the Supreme Court level, which undoubtedly will happen. Now, yes. I, I've said many times I am pro-life, but I am also a lawyer, so I follow the law. I believe in the Constitution, but I can understand why people will feel that their liberties are at jeopardy because the one thing that this justice stood for was personal liberty. When you thought about, you know, um, same-sex marriage, you mm. thought about Kennedy. Mm. When you thought about, um, I think, Roe v. Wade, mm. you thought about Kennedy and his vote and affirmative action, you thought about Kennedy. So he was very into personal liberties, yeah. and I, I, I do I fear that, that that's going to change. But can I just explain my, my perspective, which is the perspective of most pro-life Republicans, is that we are guaranteed in this country life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. Life, as I define it, is it does not include abortion. I believe abortion is murder. So this is where the line delineates. So, so when you're talking that's about liberty, you. I know you have the right you know, not to have an but abortion. But it's an interpretation have, of the law. That's your interpretation of it's an your interpretation listen, of the law. You are not. You know, I'm not okay when when people say, "Listen, I want my stuff, but you can't have yours." The government has said. that I can have one. And I feel that you have every right to have the guns you want. There are some guns I think shouldn't be out there, but I don't say you can't have your damn guns. I don't want anybody saying to me, I'm going to make this decision for you because I know how your life is and I know how you feel and I know what your religious beliefs are. You don't and you don't know my life. And if there was even a modicum of belief that somebody gave a, a dog on about and I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about up in here with the with the big government. Mm -hmm. If I thought that they gave a damn about children about children <laughs> and being able to raise a kid, if somebody has a kid that can't raise, they throw them out the window. I mean, come on. Do they really care about children in this country? Does Donald Trump really care about children? That I, I, understand, yeah. Well, yeah, I, understand. I understand everyone else's perspective. Yeah. I, I you know, know debate you for a living. I'm saying that I don't think that murder should be legal in the United States of America. I believe abortion is murder. And it's that simple. And I am through. Well, again, I knew today. Starvation. I knew today would be a rough day yeah. because I knew that everyone would be upset because I was watching CNN. And everyone was going crazy. But I will say, for a lot of Republicans, this will help in midterms. And again, yeah. whatever Democrats think they have holding in the base, we're talking about a fractured Democratic Party. If maybe you guys had coerced together and not been voting for Jill Stein and voting for Bernie Sanders, maybe it wouldn't turn out like this. But for today, it's a good day. Well, for the Russians Republicans. were involved. Let's not forget that. Too. I just yeah, the I Russians. Yeah, let's not forget no, the Russians. I think we're, we're all for life, which you say here all the time, yeah. and I feel like so often when this conversation comes up, we forget about moms, because that's a life involved with this choice as well. Mm -hmm. And also with the borders, I always find it funny that people are really up in my uterus, but when it comes to a baby that's already alive and out there, yeah, then they don't fight. We'll back. Well, uh, you couldn't care, and okay, let's just get to the gist, because I'm not going to repeat what they were saying. So, uh, the agreement that conservatives do not want to help you uh, take care of your kid after they are born is also nonsense. No one is supposed to take care of your kids, but you. This is a tough concept uh, for liberals to comprehend, but I'm going to say it in the simplest terms I can. If you get pregnant, that is your responsibility. Uh, look, they're, they're go going on about 
uh, the justice. They don't like that the justice got in, and it's a very unfair fight between uh, uh, Megan McCain and the rest of the uh, shrews on there because it's like four against uh, one, you see. So you know that they're having a, a, a total breakdown over uh, Trump's going to pick the new justice, uh, Supreme Court justice. So um, it, it's not looking good for them. And just like Megan McCain, it's a wonderful day for Republicans. It's a win. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.